Between studying and two part-time jobs, Alyssa's been struggling to cope with the extra $105 a week she and her partner have had to find for rent. She's asked not to be identified in case her landlord recognises her. When your rent is over 50% of your income, you just put the rest of that money into paying your other bills and living. Alyssa's not alone. According to CoreLogic, Perth's average rent is up more than any other capital city in the country over the past year, and Adelaide is the only city with fewer rentals available. The crunch made Alyssa feel she was in no position to negotiate with her landlord. Because I didn't want them to say, no, also we don't want you to stay now. You've asked too much of us. Alyssa was one of 350 renters who answered a survey from Make Renting Fair, which found 40% of respondents were too scared to negotiate, with another 45% not successful when they tried. Advocates want to see laws reformed to give renters more power, including ending no grounds evictions and capping rent increases. You can evict them for no reason, so there's no security for people whatsoever. The Premier is not keen to change the rules around evictions or introduce a rent cap, but has indicated a willingness to consider limiting rent increases to only be allowed once a year. He agrees with groups like Rewa that making big changes too quickly could see investors leave the market. Many fewer rentals and higher prices for those that remain. The most important thing you can do is get more properties built. We're changing our planning system. We've encouraged more um, homes to be built. There's record numbers being built as we speak. I think when the market does recover, whenever that is, maybe two years, three years' time, then I think the time is right to start implementing these very important reforms. Recommendations from a three-year review into WA's rental laws are due to be considered by Cabinet in coming months. Ken Burke, ABC News.